I love Palm Beach. I was in love with Burley. Like having your first child, you love her so much you're not sure if there's any love left for your second and your third. If I could be anywhere, I'd be next to the moon. Then you discover that love is infinite. There's always room to find some more. I sold my hamburger shop and my two properties at Burley Heads and moved absolute beachfront Palm Beach 17 years ago. Palm Beach, one of the most desirable absolute beachfront lifestyles in the world. Driven by the locals, it won the cleanest beach in Australia three times in the last 15 years. Maybe because of its crystal white sand, corrugated green room beach break barrels, or the intimacy of being gated by Burley Headland to the north and Corumban Headland to the south. I don't know why, but at Palm Beach a UFO chose to make me a believer. With a smile that touched both earlobes, I was reliving my day of beach walking and exploring the enchanted coastal remnant that touches the northern bank of the Corumban Estuary. A used block of Mrs Palmer's hung in the sky above the reef 800 metres offshore, the Palm Beach Reef. You can see a hundred fishing boats there when the fish are biting. A sparse twinkle of late night revellers and night owls spotted the coastline past surface paradise in front and behind me Coolangatta slept. Covered in a blanket of diamonds, the ocean drew shallow breaths. There was no breeze as the tide was turning, illuminated by the full moon. As a highly charged light, it sat there, challenging me to reach out and touch it. As I recognised the magnitude of what I was seeing, it exploded with acceleration and stole the air behind it as it disappeared into the stars. The more I know I don't know, the more I discover. I'd be next to the moon that way. Smoking when you saw that UFO. I don't see him anymore, put it that way. <laughs>